Now let's have a look at the pathway to illness through past negative events. As I showed you before, you'll agree with me that we are all born positive. There is no question. And also we are all subject to deeply distressing events. And every time when these distress events happen to our life, what happens is, it's very hateful, very painful. How we can live through these negative events is to dissociate and disconnect ourselves from the past as if nothing has happened. We bury them. We put it into our unconscious, subconscious memory as if nothing has happened. But by putting the event into the unconscious, subconscious memory, burying them, you may not remember the event, but the emotions as a result of the event get stored in the body cellular memory, making us uncomfortable. So from time to time, we may feel lonely, we feel sad, we feel angry for no, no reason, we feel shame, we feel guilty. So continuous uncomfortable feeling that we feel because of the stagnant negative emotions in our body, we continuously look for comfort. And what do we do when we look for comfort? We have a multi-billion industry catering to comfort us. We take alcohol. When we take alcohol, we forget about all the discomfort. We feel happy. We take drugs, recreational drugs. We smoke cigarettes. We take antidepressants if we are depressed. This is well accepted in the medical field. If you have pain, pain is a manifestation of emotion, but we take painkillers to kill the pain. We can't sleep because of the emotions are disturbing us. We take sleeping pills. To make us happy, we eat junk food. Multi-billion fast food industry all over the world. We go retail therapy. We buy things that we don't even need because it makes us happy. We gamble to be rich. We never win. We cut our body parts and we put new body parts thinking that will make us happy. We look into sex and the porn industry to make us happy. Now all these things make us happy momentary. What happens is the body develops a biochemical chain reaction. Then we become addicted to these external substances that make us happy. These addictions make these industries into a multi-billion industries. Whether it's a drug industry, pharmaceutical industry, uh, fast food industry, porn industry, every industry is a multi-billion industry because they are satisfying our temporary, our discomfort coming through our past negative events. It's comforting us temporarily. None of these industries or the external substances have removed the negative emotions from our body cellular memory. It has only numbed the emotions. So what happens is, to the emotions that are stored in the body cellular memory, it manifests into physical pain. This is the time you feel stomachache, headaches, neckache, backache, lower backache, tummy aches. Because the emotions that are stored in the body manifest into physical pain. Why? Because the body is talking to you. Please do something about my emotions that are stagnant in the body. Your external substances are not helping. They are only satisfying for the moment. So now, a lot of the people don't listen to the body communication. 
if you don't listen to the body communication of your physical pain when you ignore that the body next response is to make the body go numb then you go to the numb state from emotional state you go to physical state physical state you go to the numb state this is the body natural response when the body goes to the numb state it's good because you don't feel emotional or physical pain but the bad thing is you don't feel pleasure happiness love ecstasy either you are like a walking corpse from that moment onward you are totally desensitized your body your yoni your pelvic every part of the area and this is why you wonder why you can't have an orgasm why you can't feel happy now when the body is in numb state the next response to the body is to develop illnesses dysfunctions tumors cancer and so forth sometimes irreversible but our body is so powerful even at this stage you can reverse it how you have to come out of your denial and you need to get in touch with your numbness and you need to be prepared to go through some physical pain through this numbness you need to be prepared to go through some emotional pain and you need to be able to associate with the past negative events that you have dissociated and disconnected and once you connect to the past negative events letting go of the past through forgiveness and love you let go of the past and when you let go of the past your negative emotions disappear from the body cellular memory and you can return to your original source who you were really born so this is the pathway to illness through past negative events and to show you and share with you with my experience how easy it is to heal your body mind and the spirit